Let's go! Alright, fellas, I'm back. Hey, what's up? I'm back. I might have just got out of bed, but I'm back. What the fuck? Alright. Um, we're back. We're at Brentwood here, yeah, for the Great Ormond ch Charity Race, uh, hosted by Carl Hills. At, he's a top lad, he is. Um, yeah, this is going to be a 20 minute qualifying, uh, two hour race. I'm with my with my homeboys in my team, Samuel, Sam, and uh, Max. And they're 30 minutes each. It's, it's literally just like, this is a fun race. And as you heard from my voice at the beginning, I haven't done a wet race in about months. So I was quite happy to be doing this. I was more than happy to be doing this. Um, but yeah, here we are in qualifying. The uh, qualifying started off like pretty dry, so all laps just stayed the same. We qualified fourth, I think, and uh, Samuel would start the race. I tried finding a video of the start, but I just can't seem to find one. It's the download. So if I do find one, I'll just put it in the description or something. I don't know. But it was quite cool. It's like a Le Mans style start. But yeah, that's what I say. This is just qualifying. Uh, just trying to get used to the track here. Uh, wet's always interesting around here because although it's like you should kind of be patient with the car and everything, you can be really confident on with the car um, on a wet track. So, hey, like here, coming up to behind a cadet, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just I've just been doing. I've done a wet track quite a fair bit, so I can't know what I'm doing. Doesn't get the impetus inside here, I think. Maybe power out. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Got past him there, coming back over. And then, yeah, it's not... This video is going to be weird, because you're not going to see a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. You're just going to see steering wheel and light. Oh, look, there's another light. Oh, look, there's a corner. But yeah, anyway, this is an extremely fun race, but we won't talk about the part uh, where uh, the, the, the team that won was trying extremely hard to win a charity race. Like... I always say the sweatiest you can get in karting is by like using radios and and all that. The top, the team that won this were using radios, so they're sweating a charity race. But it's all right because you know they do whatever. Um, yeah, sure, you know, tip your hat to you if that's if, if you're that desperate for a win. I guess you know, fair play. Um, but yeah, qualifying here was actually quite fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's. Driving in the wet's insane as it is. I love it, um, which is weird because about a year or two ago I actually hated it. Um, but it's it's nice to have a change, you know. Driving in the dry is so cool, though. and this was unweighted event too. So if it was uh, the dry, I wouldn't really stand a chance because there was people like half my weight there. But um, yeah, yeah, not to worry. Someone spun there. Oh, just endurance races are insane as it is. Endurance races where you're. Um, Uh, when it's in the wet as well, on a track, you know, Oof. insane stuff. You could have so much fun. Like sometimes you don't need to like be so serious about racing. This is why I think this charity race is good for me because it kind of like reignited my fire for karting a bit. Because I think well, let's check when I last uploaded. Oh, a minute. Uh, one month ago. Oh, that one only got 177 views. Gee, what am I doing? Oh my god, Jesus. But um. But yeah, so yeah, just I'm just trying to get used to the track at this point, trying to see where the, the fast parts of the track are, and all that good stuff. Uh, I think I'm coming up towards the end of qualifying here. Yep, and, oh wait, listen to this one. Oh mate, that was insane. Right, so, if a user wondering, why was he so gassed about that? So basically, when I went into that corner, the way you do the wet is that like you flick left, then coming into like the left hander, then you flick right to like try and bring the car around. And but I flicked too hard, so the back of the car came right round, and I had to like hold it almost full lock left, and sort of power like keep my foot on the accelerator, and it felt like I just drifted round the entire corner, like some like Tokyo drift shit. Yo, it had me an absolute scene for like that was so cool. But, um, but yeah, here we are for the race. Uh, I'm waiting to get uh, hands into Sam Boy. Problem is, when we pitted, there's a car that broke in front of us. So we had to, we lost about three seconds here or whatever. So, you know, it all came down to me to fucking try and make up the time back. 
Run over to Sam Boy there. We're trying to wait for him to get the seat out. The seat got stuck, but it's okay. Gonna get my foot immediately down. I'm gone. Absolutely gone, mate. I'm flying. I'm so quick. Anyway, back out into the race we go. We're now third, fourth, maybe? Maybe fourth. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we lost some time in that, so it's all down to me to try and put us back in the lead because we got a really good start and we led for like the first 30 minutes, I think. So, yeah, all right, now we're getting traffic. Oh, also, there's a bunch of gimmicks in this one. I think gimmicks is the right word. I don't know. Or little talent, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so you get a trump card or something else card. No, so I think a trump card is that you make someone come in and do like star jumps or something, and then. And then there's another card where you can remove a lap of someone. And there's another card where you can add yourself a lap. So I think that's how it goes. But yeah, I think everyone has to do one... We'll get one black flag to do four star jumps. So... At least everyone will get a penalty thing at some point. Uh, but yeah. So we might have card number two here. It took me a while to find my feet again. I don't know why. It, it was kind of weird. But... Um, yeah, coming back out into a live race at the moment, we've got to try and navigate traffic. That guy, I, had to, I couldn't go onto the racing, the wet racing line there, so I kind of lost a bit of time to this car in front of me. But it's not to worry, we're going to catch up to him anyway. I think I ended up lapping this person in front of me like twice. Um, which was weird, because on this point, I'm kind of lapping the same pace. So I must have just found about two seconds worth of time. Um, yeah, a lot of people wearing wetsuits. I was, uh, uh, yeah, I got my bare chest out and I didn't wear a wetsuit. That's how cool I am. I don't wear wetsuits, kids. Um... It's not that cool, but, you know. Um, yeah, coming to Paddock Bend again. Yeah, like I say, it's going to be a lot of traffic to navigate. It's actually quite fun. Going right through, um, get really wide here, try and maximise my run out of there. Although, probably could have done it better, try and get the traction down on the tyres a bit more, so I could have, like, really have uh, gotten out. Yep, trying to hit that uh, lovely concrete there, to try and absolutely maximise the grip. Wow, you just can't see a lot. Jesus Christ, you really can't see a lot. But yeah, swimming pool just absolutely rides in the curb there. I'm trying to see what else. Um, the best way to try and navigate traffic here is you've got to try and like, do. You can either pick them off one by one, which I'm probably going to do here. No, I don't do it here. I'm do it here. Yeah, I'm going to go for the inside here. Yeah, so depending on how confident you feel driving in the wet, you can be a bit more of like a like an aggressor. So. So people that play iRace and that, if you're on an LMP1 or LMP2, whatever series you do, uh, if you're coming up to like a GT traffic, you're just going to shove your way through essentially because you just make, make sure you lose as uh, little time as possible. Kind of the same thing applies here, except you don't uh, ram them off into the, the fence or summit. You just you just overtake them. So here I just sat behind. I was like, not not really worth the risk and trying to go over to the overtake here. Um, but yeah, just trying to, you got to really slow yourself down for this corner. I actually give him a little tap, a tap there, but I don't know where, a little tap will just send him. So yeah, um, yeah, I got past him, and I'm getting past, I'm getting two for one in about a space of two corners. Sorry, two for one, two for two. Uh, so that brings us right away fr um, up here, and we, we have to start closing down on what is the leader or second plate, I don't know. Alright, I, I didn't really follow the lap live timers in this. I think we came in with we third. I think I, the person in front of me pitted for second, uh, pitted from second, so now I'm back up to second. But yeah, uh, yeah, this guy gets really slow and then goes to the middle of the track. I was like, um, right then. Oh, and then the guy that we previously overtook uh, tried going up the inside of me again. Had better traction than him, so I just got right past him. A lot of people think the best way to overtake is just by uh, doing that. Uh, but yeah, it it really isn't. Uh, looking up the inside here, I think he's defending me, I think that was Ben actually, Ben Cudby or whatever, I think he was defending me, like my guy, you know, trying to defend me bro, I'm going to get past you, but um, yeah, I think coming through here, I think I'm going to get the black flag here, yeah, I get the black flag here, that's to tell me that I was chosen as the athlete I am, these massive biceps don't do nothing all day, I'm going to be the one that has to do, um, a chat, um, not a chat, right? I'm gonna have to do two, 10 star jumps. So, it's kind of. I, I, was just, I said to myself, okay, let's make this a really good in lap. Uh, actually, one of the worst in laps I could have done. Um, wow, that, that was kind of uh, was kind of sad that. But yeah, absolutely loved this race. It was it was so fun the whole night. Like, big props to uh, Carl for setting it up. 
thank you very much for like letting us all come along and that. Uh, damn, I, I have more to say in this situation. Anyway, all right. Oh, go go over, go and see Dan. Come on, look at these, look at these star jumps, mate. Look how fast I'm going. This is an athlete here. Are really gonna say go? I just sprint. I'm gone. I'm absolutely gone. I'm flying. Oh my god. Foot down, foot down. Go, 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 go. God, Jesus Christ. The speed in that. You're telling me, yeah, that any athlete could do that faster than me? No. I'm the world record holder for star jumps there, by the way. I hope you know. Uh, yeah, um, in course of that happening, my camera tipped down. So now we're gonna be looking at my beautiful steering wheel and my knee. So I'm not really sure what to do here. There's about another 10 minutes of footage here. And I could try commentating it. But I'm not really sure what's happening. Hmm. We've got ourselves a bit of a pickle here. So I could just kind of basically tell you what I'm going to bat, um, coming up to the start finish straight here. Coming into the swimming pool. Yep, and here we go, into the swimming pool. Yeah, this is kind of rough, that. But Carl, hey, you said, you said to me, uh, did you actually film it all? Yes, I got it filmed. Uh, it's probably is, it's, it's just looking at my nuts. Um, or my hands, whichever you prefer to look at. Yeah, um, hmm. Yeah, that's swimming pool. Uh, for lots of some lap traffic here, god damn. Am I going to be able to overtake? Of course I am. Get a good exit out of there. Going to go, like, try and... Everyone's going across the curb, but that was kind of funny. I think I actually lost time now. I'm not sure who I'm behind now. Probably got a bit of a poor... Act. Yeah, this is rough, man. I just want to tip the camera up, but I can't. Behind cart number five. Who is five? I'm not too sure. But I think I'm going to get, like, a... Get a bit of slipstream here. Get a bit of traction. It's going to go up the inside. And, um, yeah. But during this stint, uh, I have no idea what's going to happen when. Uh, I put us back into the lead, got us a nice three second gap to person in second. Um, then pitted us in, and then our other driver came out, Sam, and then he came in, and we was 30 second, 30, 39 seconds off the lead. Um, and then Maxi Boy got in the car, and then he, he closed the gap, even with a, a crash he had, not crash, he had a spin or something. Even with a crash or a spin he had, uh, brought the gap down to 9 seconds. But they, they wanted the win hot, um, a lot more than us because they, they were really trying with like radios and that. Um, but yeah, fair play, man. If you want to sweat a charity race, you do you, fam. Everyone else had a good time. Um, but yeah, this was, it was just quite a good fun. Uh, actually, I really enjoyed this event the whole time. Like. Oh wow, that, that, just, that did not look good for me, did they? That bit there, fucking hell, I just tapped the fucking rear end like that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, they raised... I don't know if there's um, a donation link anywhere. But I'll try and put a... Um, like a donation link to the Great Ormond Street Foundation. Is it Foundation? Or Cherry? There's a Cherry in it. I'll put a link to them, see if you want to donate, you can. Uh, I think on a the night they raised five, five and a half grand, and yeah, that was. I was, I mean, like a lot of people would joke and say, "Oh, top team spent like a grand or whatever by themselves." But regardless of what they did to do whatever, five and a half grand for charity is pretty good. So you know, massive uh, props for everyone there. Thank you, Carl, for setting it up. Uh, bit, top job to my boys. We. We were the moral victors that night. We got a bigger cheer when we got announced on the podium than the people that won did. That's insane. We were so cool. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, once the second lockdown's done, we can start doing some more endurance races and stuff like that. And more races. I actually have about three videos planned. Can you believe I didn't have uploaded in one month and I'm going to have three videos planned. That's insane. Who am I? I'm not even... I'm, I'm a YouTuber, bro. I'm an athlete. Bro. These biceps weren't made for nothing. All right, I'm gonna let you watch the last few minutes of my uh, of my steering wheel. So I'm sure that's what you really want to do. Um, but yeah, see you boys in the next video.